Okay, so Mid Journey recently released version 5 and it is amazing. First of all, it gets a lot of things right and then it gives you so much more detail. Uh, so what I want to do in this video is basically look at the difference between Mid Journey version 4 and Mid Journey version 5. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to get the old images that I've created using Mid Journey and then compare the same prompt for version 4 and version 5 side by side and see how much better Mid Journey version 5 looks. Let's get started. All right, so first things first, I have been working a lot with Mid Journey. Um, so it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of logos. It's a lot of short stories. It's a lot of experimental stuff. But what I'm going to do for this video is just pick a few exciting um, images that I liked and then see what the difference looks like. But for this specific video, I will not be changing the prompts at all. The only change that I'll be making is telling you to use version 5 instead of version 4 and then we'll look at the two of them side by side. So I really loved how this image looked. I copied it from someone who did this really exciting rendition of like an early 60s, early 70s vibe. And so I just tailored it for like this African look. Feel free to read the prompt as much as you like. So let's see what Mid Journey version 5 looks like. And so the easiest way to do this is basically copy the entire full command so that you're basically copying the exact same instructions that you gave uh, Mid Journey to give you the image that you're looking at. And then we'll use that same instruction, but change something small so that it gives us version 5. So I'll just remove the version 4 and replace it with version 5. And let's see what it does. So one thing to note is that um, my settings use version 5 by default. So the minute I remove version 4 and press enter, it's automatically going to create the version 5 image. So that's what our image looks like. Immediately, I can see that it has a significant amount of detail compared to the previous Mid Journey version 4. There's a lot more fidelity. And the really, really exciting thing is that now you can see that the hands look so much better. So you can immediately see that there is a significant difference in quality. Like just looking at these two images um, back to back, it's, it's almost surreal. It's like version 5 is miles ahead of uh, version 4. And you can see that in the detail of the clothing, in the expressions, in the eyes, the wrinkles. It's just so much more fidelity. And I'm going to ask it to upscale the fourth image because uh, I really want to take a closer look at the hands. And one of the things that I've noticed about version, uh, Min Jani version 5 is that it seems to be a little bit faster at generating um, the small, uh, the individual images as opposed to the grid. I haven't dived deep into Mid Journey version 5, uh, but from everything that I've seen, it's almost like once you ask it to give you a, an upscale of a specific image, it's like instant. So I really, really love how rich this is. Um, it feels like it's really alive. It feels like you're really in the street scene and the quantity of the image is just amazing. It's just outstanding. So let's take a look at another image. So there's a video that I created a while back and it's a video about how I used artificial intelligence to create this short story about a utopian African country where a young scientist discovers a mysterious energy source. So this was one of the images that I asked me journey to generate. And you're going to look at the stark difference in how it created these images for version 4 versus what version 5 looks like. So again, we'll copy the exact same prompt and just change from version 4 to version 5. And as we are doing that, let's grab another image so that we sort of um, kill two birds with one stone. Let's grab another image uh, from the exact same series and let's see how Mid Journey uh, version 5 uh, creates the two of them. So in one of the scenes, it's basically the female scientist working at a table, inventing something. And then in another one of those scenes, it's the same female scientist overlooking a futuristic utopian city. All right, so the first thing that you're going to notice is that one, the hands look so much better. The hands look so much better, but the picture itself has a lot of detail, right? So just look at that. I mean, it's still creating all sorts of random connections. There's still a few issues with the hands, but overall, if you compare the two, it's basically night and day with the hands. Um, also, there's a lot more detail in the things that are sort of around her. There's a lot more order to the chaos. Um, if you look at the original version 4, it feels like a whole lot of things that were 
jumbled together. It does look exciting and interesting, but I feel like version 5 gives you significantly more plausibility for what's being created. You can see, you know, the vials, the wires, and they sort of look like they belong there as opposed to the previous version where it's just sort of jumbled around in a way that kind of makes sense. But here it actually feels like there is something magical happening. So this one also does a good job, but if you look at the hands, there's like a thousand fingers on every single hand. And then once the hands are sort of surrounded by this aura, just feels like it's trying to fit the hands in there somehow for it to make sense. So yeah, very, very stark contrast between the two. I think version 5 is already miles ahead of version 4. Let's look at the next picture and see what the difference looks like. So already, immediately, I just see so much incredible detail in quantity. There's just like... So if you look at it, like this new image seems that the new images look a lot brighter. The city looks more futuristic. Unfortunately, my problem with it is that now the cities look too futuristic compared to what I had en envisioned. But because I'm doing prompt for prompt, I'm not really going to modify anything. I just want to see how it creates these two things. One of the things that you immediately notice is that the faces look so much better in version 5. Look at that. The detail in the background. Um, you look at all those little tiny things that it's created. There's a city and then what looks like a slum. And then that sort of artifact in the sky. I don't know what that is. It wasn't in my original story. Uh, but it's just so much better than what we had before. The composition is really so much better. The depth of field is fantastic. Um, this other image, the river looks amazing. It has this great perspective. And yet when you look at this version 4 image, you begin to see issues with the faces, right? You see the, the double lips, the double eyelashes. Um, the little weird necks, um, it just looks really strange. And then there's a significant lack of quality in the images that are far further in the distance. All right, let's take a look at another image. So this was one of the main characters. He's basically the sort of bad guy who's supposed to be this genius, but he's all muscular, wise, and all that jazz. And let's see how version 5 recreates him. All right, let's open this in a new tab. And then let's also create another image because I want to do it simultaneously. Oh, wow. That looks so much better. I love the detail. Look at the creases on this shot. It's just so, so much better. Let's look at it. Um, it's compared to the previous one. So even the composition, um, I'm not sure if I'd specifically asked for a specific um, angle of the photo um, or a specific, whether I asked for a portrait or whatever. But you can see in the old image that there's some artifacting with the glasses, like the lenses seem to be coming out of his face, the frames are not quite fitting, there are all sorts of issues. It looks plausible from a distance. The deeper you look, the more you analyze it, the more you begin seeing weird things. However, in the new one, there's actually so much better clarity. Like the glasses are really created really well and you don't get any of that weird thing sticking out of the man's face. Um, the hands still have a couple of issues. Um, this other hand looks great, but the other one has like a couple of extra fingers. But overall, it's just so, so much better. Uh, this one looks like it's missing an arm. Well, the arm was placed in a different place, uh, but it's just so much better. The backgrounds, the lighting, the sketching, the detail in the sketching is just so, so, so much better. I'm really loving this new version of Main Journey. And then definitely working on the hands and it's getting better. So let's look at the other image. So the thing that's really interesting is that this mysterious energy source in version 5, it's basically been created as an orb. It gives it a more mystic or spiritual aura as opposed to the sort of more scientific version that I had. But you'll see that the lighting in the new version is so much better and there's just so much detail around the hands again. Um, compared to version 4. So version 4 has a lot of chaos around the hands. Version 5 is nice and clean. One of the things that I really miss though is that version 5 is cleaner but it feels like it's lost a little bit of detail. You'll see it in another picture, in another image that will be generated. 
it feels like it's lost a lot of the the creativity so it makes it really clean really neat simplifies things but then there's a sort of chaos that disappears and that chaos is what made me really get attracted to this uh so yeah it's good but i feel like it's lost something and i don't know whether i lost it in the thinking or in the creativity but of course obviously i can go back and reprompt some of these things and just recreate what i'm looking for um but yeah definitely version 5 is killing it absolutely killing it so far so let's take a look at another image just see how much richer this is right look at the detail so this is version 5 and this is version 4. look at the stark difference in the quality of the pictures itself version 4 looked amazing until you take a look at version 5 and look at that the fidelity in the background the fidelity in the character design the drawing the lighting everything just is just so much richer it just comes to life in ways that that just blow your mind you know so version 5 is just incredible um absolutely love it so yeah that's a prompt for prompt comparison for version 4 and version 5 of mid journey really really great progress really really great quality lighting everything just seems to have improved uh but overall version 5 is definitely a huge leap forward and i'm looking forward to creating some exciting art with it so thanks for watching and see you in the next one